Today we're going to look at percentages and expressing percentages and finding percentages. So to express one quantity as a percentage of another, firstly we just need to write the write a fraction with the part as a numerator and the whole as a denominator. Then we need to convert the fraction to a percentage. It's a very simple two-step process. So if a person gets 14 marks out of 20 marks on a, on a, on a test, the 14 is the part, the part that, that the person achieved, and 20 is the whole, is the potential number of marks that we could have got. So that as a fraction is 14 out of 20. 14 parts out of the 20. So 14 is the numerator, 20 is the denominator. 14 is the part, and the whole is 20. So multiply that by 100%, and we get uh, 1,400 over 20%, and that's 70%. So 14 out of 20, that equivalent is equivalent to 70%. So to find a percentage of a quantity, firstly we need to express the percentage as a fraction, and then we need to multiply the, percent, the fraction that we found multiplied by the number that we need to um, find the percentage of. The word of means multiply. So if we've got 20% of 80, that's the same as 20 over 100, so that's 20% as a fraction. We've converted that to a fraction, just 20 out of the 100, uh, the, the 100 parts. Of is multiply 80, so that's 20 over 100 multiplied by 80 over 1. And 20 times 80 is going to be 1600, 1600, and 100 times 1 is just 100, and that's equivalent to 16. So that means that 20% of 80 is 16. If we have a look at some examples now, so we're expressing some different amounts as percentages. So first we've got 34 as a percentage of 40. So 34 is the part, with 40 being the whole. So 34 over 40 multiplied by 100%, that's going to be uh, th uh, 30, 34 times 100 multiplied, uh, multiplied together on the top there, and 40 times 1. So 3,400 divided by 40. Notice I've uh, crossed the zeros out on the end. The reason I've done that is because we can divide both the top and the bottom by 10. They both have a common factor of 10, so we can do that, divide the top and the bottom by 10. And it's easy, um, it, it might be easier then to do it in your head, or certainly easier to, less, less entering on a calculator, to, to do 340 divided by 4, which is 85%. So for B, we've got 13 as a percentage of 30. So 13 is the part, and 30 is the whole. 13 over 30, multiply by 100%, multiply the top and bottom rows, and we can cancel uh, the zeros once again. Just, just one on each row, because we're dividing by 10 on the top and bottom row. And 130 divided by 3 is 43 and a third percent. Uh, this, this one here, 60% as a percentage of $5. So you'll notice that they're not in the same units there. They're not, not, uh, they're not the same sort of uh, representation and it's difficult to compare them. We can't compare them as is. We need to make sure they're the same unit. So if we can convert the $5 to cents, then we've got 60 cents and 500 cents. So the, the part is 60 cents. That's the part that we've got and the whole is 500 cents. So 60 out of 500, so that's the $5 on the bottom there, 500 cents, and 60 cents on the top. So multiplying the top and bottom together, we get 6,000 divided by, uh, sorry, 6,000 over 500, and we can divide both the top and the bottom by 100, and that's why I've cancelled two zeros out on, on each line. So I've divided the top and by 100, and the bottom by 100, the numerator by 100, divided by 100, and the denominator divided by 100. So 60 divided by 5 is just 12%. So that means that 60 cents as a percentage of $5 is 12%. So lastly, 2 kilometres as a percentage of 800 metres. So the part is 2 kilometres, even though it's bigger than 800 metres, it's still the part because we're expressing it as a percentage of the whole, 800 metres. So the part as a percentage of the whole. So two kilometres and 800 metres, once again, not in the same units. We can convert the two kilometres to metres. There are uh, 1,000 kilometres in one metre, uh, sorry, 1,000 metres in one kilometre. So we can multiply the two kilometres by 1,000, we get 2,000 metres. So two kilometres is 2,000 metres. So the 2,000 metres is the part, 2,000, out of the whole, 800 metres. Multiply the top and the bottom uh, 
top by 100 and the bottom by 1%, and that yields uh, 200,000 uh, over 800. We can cancel the zeros, and 2,000 divided by 8 is 250%. So last example, finding some percentages of values. So finding 25% of 128 and 155% of 60. So 25% of 128 is going to, we can convert the 25% to a fraction. So it's 25 out of 100, multiplied by 128 over 1. So 25 times, uh, 25 over 100, that can simplify to 1 quarter. Uh, and that means we've got 128 divided by 4, which is 32. So 25% of 128 is 32. If we we're going to find 155% of 60, then that's going to be 155 over 100. That's the percentage expressed as a fraction. Multiply by, because we've got of means multiply, 60 over 1. This can be simplified to 31 over 20. Uh, 31 times 60 is 1,860 divided by 20. Cancelling uh, or dividing both the top and bottom, dividing both the numerator and denominator by 10, and that yields 93. So 186 divided by 2 is 93. So that's the answer we get for 155% of 60 is 93. And you can see that, uh, that 93 is bigger than 60. And that's because we've got more than 100%, more than 100% of 60. So if we had exactly 100% of 60, it, it would be 60. Any more than 100%, we start getting bigger than 60. Any less than 100%, it would be less than 60. So you can see we've checked, we can check there that we do have a number that's greater than uh, 60 there, and we do 93%.